Hey guys, how's it going? My name is John Degetor and I'm out here in Ocean Isle, North Carolina fishing with Salt Fever Guide Service. They've been running me out my Jackson Mayfly here in the 37 foot Freeman. We ran out 55 miles today doing some offshore kayak fishing. Point Click Fish is here filming with us. Today I wanted to kind of just give you guys a walkthrough on my system, my kayak, let you know how I have it rigged for offshore fishing. We're gonna go from bow to stern. Let's start up here. Right now um, on the bow handle, basically I just have about an eight foot rope with a little shot cable. That's for, you know, holding the kayak steady when I'm actually getting in or out of the kayak. Rail Blazer three, Boom 360 here with my GoPro mount. If you come up under the front hatch, this is where my battery is. I don't have to do any drilling for my fish finder. I've got a uh, Dakota lithium ba uh, battery here, 24 volt. Charges up my nine inch Raymarine element unit. Come on forward a little bit. Foot rest, this is adjustable here. You just un unscrew these bolts here, slide the foot, uh, foot positioning forward or aft, um, whatever's gonna be comfortable for your legs. My uh, Warner paddles for getting back and forth wherever I need to go. It's actually connected by my Baja paddle holder from Yak Gear, PFD. I don't care if it's skinny water, deep water, back creek water, I never hit water without my PFD on. The seat here is fully adjustable. You slide it forward, back, just like the uh, footrest here. You can adjust the backrest as well. Lumbar support from uh, Thermarest here. Fish grips, whenever I get the fish up next to the kayak and I want to get them for pictures, we didn't get any fish. Um, all the fish were handled on fish grip, released safely. Cup here on the side. Railblazer um, rod tubes here and in the back is very interesting. This is how I was able to actually fish live bait offshore 55 miles and I'm able to actually maintain five or six good baits, Big Pogey, Menhaden, right here in my Yak Gear crate. Um, big, uh, big bag in here, waterproof bag. So in other words, I can actually keep my water in here, have a, a little bubbler system here, keep my, uh, keep my bait alive. Right here, guys, I've got my Slammer 3 set up on a 38 pin jigging rod, running 60 pound thread lock to a 40 pound gold label leader. Right behind it is a spin fisher with the live bait clicker, 65 as well, same line set up, 60 pound thread lock with the 40 pound leader. Right here, I have my 75 spin fisher. This is 80 pound thread lock with a uh, 80 pound gold um, red label leader. And back here, I have a uh, Revo Toro. It's not even on the markets yet. It's gonna be released at ICAST. This is for some smaller species or uh, casting some small jigs on them on a uh, Ike series heavy action rod. Didn't really get to use it, but we did have some fun with it. And rail blades, a camera mount back here as well for, an, uh, for some rear action filming. And that's pretty much my setup on my 2019 Jackson Mayfly kayak. And we're 55 miles out in the Atlantic doing some offshore kayak fishing. Guys, if you're gonna go kayaking anywhere, make sure you put your PFDs on. It's getting hot out here, stay hydrated. We'll talk to you all soon. Enjoy the handles at the end of the video. Make sure you click on them, give Point Click Fish a like. I'm out here doing an Instagram takeover for the World Fishing Network. Make sure you're following them as well for some awesome fishing content. My name is John Degetor. We'll see you on the water soon. Tight lines.